Hey everyone, so in the last video I showed you the fundamentals of painting with this new technique and now we're going to talk about getting detailed areas. And so for example, in the previous video we quick put this image together and it looks really cool, it looks impressionistic, but if you're looking at it you might say, okay, I, but I want the face to be more refined, I want uh, more detail on the face. So we had just been using like this fill brush number four. And if I paint like this, you can see it's not very detailed. And I'm going to make a new layer above it. So if you want to make areas more detailed, um, the only thing you have to do is lower the brush size. So I'm going to take this brush down a couple sizes. And I am simply going to go back and forth and paint here. And as you can see, with a smaller brush size, immediately your face gets more detailed. So it is just as easy as that. It is so cool, it's so easy. And one other little tip that I wanted to give you about working with detail is if you're laying in an area like this face here and you want it to be more detailed, um, if you go, like if you paint and you go back and forth, it's gonna be pretty aligned um, in general, depending on your brush size. But if you want it to be slightly more aligned to kind of lay this, lay this shape in or lay this area in, paint in one direction and just instead of going back and forth, just paint your, all your strokes to begin with with one direction and that's going to lay it in more, um, that's going to make sure it's more aligned than if you kind of go back and forth like this. And one other little tip that I wanted to give you I'm going to go to one of my brushes. 52 is one that I use a lot for detail and I think it's really nice. Um, is, you know, you can paint this, go like up and down. Oops. Hold on one second. Go back to 52. I increase my brush size. So what's great is that you can paint along these areas like this um, rather than just painting generically in one direction you can follow the shapes like this and then your painting will look more natural and even let's go down here to like the lip area and we can follow this shape and make directional strokes um, let's increase the size of this brush just a little bit and it's going to make your picture look more realistic that you can follow the, the shapes of the face like this or whatever object it is you're working on and all your strokes are not just one direction and it makes it look more natural like, um, like how you would actually paint. So it's really cool and um, these are just a few different tips for working with areas of detail.